if i click it as you can see now the theme just switches between dark and light mode hi guys in this video we are going to implement a custom theme and a custom theme system and a dark mode and a light mode in our application in our flutter application and in the end you will be able to click a button and change the theme instantly from dark mode to light mode and everything and we will be also writing abstraction and classes required for this particular process so that we can expand it to multiple use cases in the future i'm currently i have a figma open here and as you can see i just did a very basic design and uh, i mean just to resemble uh, the template of an application of a basic application as you can see a few colors change when we use dark mode and light mode and a few colors uh, stay the uh, same in dark mode and light mode so let's just see which are all the colors we have to implement and we have to make it dynamic uh, or at least make it uh, like a modular so that we can expand it to multiple use cases so we can see that there is a background color and that actually changes from light mode to dark mode and here we have the background color for the dark mode and it also changes as you can see in dark mode this is the background color in light mode it's not the background color it's actually a foreground color used to identify the elements in the application and everything so yeah so i developed this theming system so that i can easily implement it in all my projects i mean all i have to do is copy one file and i will have the theme for all my future projects and everything so yeah so what I name these colors, let me just explain it. So uh, here we have the application background and uh, the background color, I name it main. And I don't actually name it background color. I name it main to make it short. And it actually changes from light mode to dark mode. And here, this particular color you see here, it also changes according to light mode and dark mode. I name it contrast. So this color, will always be in contrast to the background color so even if we switch to light mode here it is dark mode so even if we switch to light mode this particular element is in contrast with the background so that's the point of it so this color whatever color is used here is contrast color and this color is the main color the background color is called main color and i chose the purple color you see here to style my application so whenever i want to present a particular component with importance in my application i use this particular color for the styling of components in my application and this particular color this blue color is the alternative color i name it alternative so this purple color is named style and this blue color is named alternative the reason is that this alternative color is used for very few elements in our application most of the elements use the styling color so whenever we want to make a particular component stand out from all those components then we use the alternative color so that's the point of it all right so we can just implement this uh, application at this point before going on to implementation if you notice this particular these particular colors don't change when we switch from light mode to dark mode because the styling color doesn't change in our application and uh, the alternative color also doesn't change and here there is a difference between uh, these elements in light mode and dark mode here the text changed from i mean dark color to light color here the text remained the same so maybe you want that in your application and maybe you don't want that so i have vs code open here and let me just switch it to full screen mode okay i hope you can see everything all right and in the lib folder create a folder called controller so this is the second time i am recording this video because the first time the video didn't record properly yeah that's why i have errors and everything because i already pushed the changes to the github repository so yeah and in here create a new file called color controller i mean you can name it anything you want i name it color controller for i mean readability and uh, yeah ease of use and everything and uh, we will be using getx for this particular implementation so i have already added get as a dependency all you have to do is go to pub.dev search for get and uh, click the first package shown and there will be a copy icon right next to the package name so all you have to do is click that to copy the latest version and we'll be using 4.1.4 and we will need a controller get x controller for this so first of all import the material package because we'll be using colors for this so material material and after that import the 
get so get slash get so that's the second one we want we need one more import but it's a relative import and uh, we can get back to it later create a class named color controller it stands get x get text controller okay and we need an observable variable and we will name it is dark mode because we want to find if it's dark mode or light mode and change our colors dynamically so i'm going to make it an observable variable rx bool an rx type and uh, it will be a private variable because we will set up getters to get the value of this particular variable later is dark mode equal to false dot obs you have to do dot obs to get the rx corresponding rx type so yeah false dot obs and after this we need a bool a getter so bool get is dark mode so this will be our actual get, uh, getter we will be using to access the value is dark mode is dark mode dot value so that's the point here so underscore is dark mode is a private variable and we are setting up getters to get its value during runtime and we will also use is light mode and uh, is dark mode dot value and we have to negate it so that it's the proper value during runtime okay so this is the initial setup we need after that we will be setting up the colors and uh, first we are going to implement the main color and the color main we make it a getter because i mean we don't actually have to make it a variable or value or something so we make it a getter and its value actually depends on whether it is light mode and we have to check if it's light mode or dark mode i'm going to say is light mode and if it's light mode okay so i have all the colors open here and the main color for light mode is f o f o f o so what i'm going to do is like color of and here i can specify hex values for my color and like the first two is to indicate that it's a hex value the second two is the opacity and after that i can just paste my color value and everything okay and if it's not light mode yeah i can choose this particular value copy and color of so x f i and this is the color uh, in dark mode so yeah and the contrast color the contrast color the only difference in contrast color is that we switch this things up uh, or maybe we can do it another way we can just say is dark mode and then after that we can just copy this that's it we just implemented the main color and the contrast color and we can just implement the color get style the style color and for that let me just switch back to yeah okay the style color is a463 f5 so let me just copy it all right and it will always remain the same so that's something you have to uh, keep in mind 0x ff and yeah so that's the point here this theming system can be applied to many applications you see in the market and if you want to customize it you can really do it using this particular abstraction okay so the style color is implemented and next we move on to the alternative color okay so color get alternative okay color 0x ff and yeah another thing we want to record the default main color and the default contrast color we will set another variable color get default main and color what will this be this will be the default color so copy paste we also have to record the default contrast color this particular color so let me just copy it okay color get default contrast sorry okay so we also set up the default colors for the application as we are implementing this we also have to add a few more colors static colors uh, depending on our implementation so let me just show that uh, what i like in my implementation is that i keep all my colors i mean most of the colors possible within the same class so that i don't actually have to use a static value so values provided by material and everything so what i do next is color get white colors dot white sorry colors dot white so yeah that's one and 
we also need a black one just to theme our application we might not always be using the main color and the contrast color so we might need like a static value a bright value and a dark value so that's the point of this you can name it light and dark instead of white and black so that's up to you so yeah black and the colors colors dot black okay so we also implemented the static colors we will be needing in our application other than that we also need to implement two functions to help us during our during development so we have to change the value of light mode and dark mode depending on our implementation we need a function and it doesn't actually have to return anything so we are making it void and we i'm uh, naming it theme switcher so so let me oh, sorry theme switcher and it actually need an argument but we haven't implemented it yet so yeah we can just create another folder called import here we'll be organizing all of our imports and everything and in this we can just create utils.dart so in this file we will be adding very small implementations or classes or something so here we are going to implement like enum it's an enum theme switch mode the reason i am not naming it theme mode is because it's already available in flutter it's an already existing thing and in this we can just say light dark and change so here's the thing if we pass in theme switch mode dot light then it changes to light mode if it's already in dark mode if we pass in dark then it changes to dark if it's already in light if we pass in change then it just changes to the other particular mode theme mode that's why we need three values instead of two and we actually have to import this theme switch mode okay it will auto import it but it's a absolute import we don't actually i mean it's our own implementation so relative import makes sense actually okay theme switch mode and let me just name it mode okay we actually have to implement changing from light mode and dark mode if mode equals theme switch mode dot light if it's a light mode then we have to check if it's already in dark mode currently so if is dark mode then we have to change it so dark mode is dark mode dot value equals not underscore is dark mode dot value so this is the particular implementation and we can just copy this and uh, else if and here we have to change it to dark so uh, yeah here we have to check if it's already in light mode okay and we can copy this particular statement and use it for the third case third case we don't actually care if it's light mode or dark mode we just change it to the other mode so here we just change it that's all we have to do and this is our switcher this is the theme switcher so we need another function and this is a particularly useful function depending on our use case so this actually returns a value but the value has a generic type so the type of the variable depends on what we want to do with it so yeah let me just show you t it returns a t type t means it's an undefined time we actually have to define it along with our function and i call this function chooser it's a generic type so we have to define it like this and it accepts two variables and both variables are required so first variable is called light mode and it's also t type and second variable is also t type and it's called dark mode so i mean most of you guys might have already understood what i mean by this particular function it returns value particular value depending on whether it is light mode or dark mode so we pass in two values of any type integer string uh, color or any other value all we have to do is like pass two values depending on light mode or dark mode and it will automatically return the, that particular type so instead of writing condition each and every time all you have to do is pass two values to this particular function so yeah if it is light mode okay return light mode sorry i'm a bit uneasy because I, i'm not feeling that well else return dark mode okay so we have successfully implemented a theming system for our application after this there are a few things left we can create a global 
file global dot dot and put all our global variables there and instead of passing the controller all we have to do is like declare a global variable and reuse it in all our screens and all our widgets and everything so yeah we can just create inside the lib folder along with the main file we can just create global dot dot and here we can import import controller color controller and we can just declare color controller color so this is what i do color controller that's it so i named it color it's short and it's very easy to use so let me just show you the implementation i did in my previous video and the previous video i recorded the video didn't record it properly so yeah in home screen i have already implemented it so here is how i use it i brought in the global file so all i have to do is like color.main i mean like color.alternative and color.style all i have to do is choose these particular values according to my preference and according to the design and whenever i want to switch mode all i have to do like uh, call theme switcher whenever i press this particular button the theme mode changes so that's the point of this let me just run this yeah it will take some time so i will just fast forward to it so yeah our application just started and uh, here we can see the button it's not looking pretty or anything because uh, in the previous video i used a light color for the button and uh, yeah the text is not visible that visible so let me just change it here okay so here i will just show you how to use the colors properly textile so i don't want the text of the button to change color so what i do i use color dot white or maybe default main because our application is starting in light mode and i want it to be default because the main color changes default main doesn't change it's one value so in here i'm just going to use white color so here if i refresh it and uh, let it load so let me just bring this okay so uh, the button has changed if i click it as you can see now the theme just switches between dark and light mode so that is our implementation of a custom theming system and a custom controller just to control the color and uh, theme mode light and dark mode of our application and we used getx for this particular implementation so thanks for watching i hope you like this video and it's useful i hope it's useful i mean i don't actually care if it's if you like it i hope this is useful and uh, yeah i hope we can get to see each other soon so thank you